before. Um, they got some talent. They're well coached. They made some crazy shots at the end. Uh, but we, we did a really good job of adjusting. We didn't know what they would do defensively. We prepared for zone. Um, it was a little bit different than what we were going over. And um, we adjusted well. We started throwing the ball inside, moving the ball side to side. So a lot of good things. And then I thought House and Mash made big time plays at the end. I thought Donovan Denton, Jalen Tober, and even KJ were terrific off the bench. So was Barima. Uh, so it was, a, it was a great team win. Great to be back in this building. The fans were awesome. Um, and I think it's going to be um, a great learning experience when we watch the film. Obviously, you, you guys tried to get physical, tried to get big. You did all that. And, and in the end, it was still the guards that kind of had to carry you because it looks like, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you guys don't quite yet have a feel for how to maybe use the big guys because you didn't have them last year. Well, and or is it just the, the foul trouble? Yeah, and they were in matchup zone. So uh, that probably threw us off a little bit. We didn't have any film on them. Um, so it wasn't your standard man-to-man. -man. It was a start zone, go man. So that was a little bit of what caught us off rhythm. Second half, we started to realize we've got to throw the ball to Morris. Now what Morris needs to learn is you don't always have to shoot it. Now you can kick it out. You can get other guys' shots. Um, and But I thought, again, kind of to your point, House and Mash, when we needed to, stepped up and made really big plays. Um, and that's what veterans who played in this building and played in the system do. So um, I thought we settled in offensively much better in the second half. But it was hard to coach in the first half with all that foul trouble. Well, you know, I just talked to Mash about the adversity that tough that you faced tonight and how it helped you. What's what's your outlook on that? I, I told our guys winning winning is hard. And now that we have we haven't arrived, but we have a little bit of a rep. I think people know that we're better than last year, and we're, we, we, we've got some nice pieces. And we'll be picked a little bit higher in the Mountain West. So you go from, you know, the hunter-hunted type mentality, and it's just totally different. Um, and I think Southern Utah thought, if we can win that game, that's going to be big. Um, so our guys have to know there's not going to be any easy games. And I've said it over and over again, the schedule – the average number of wins is 21 in the non-conference for the teams that we're playing. Um, so it was really good. We built a lead. They came back, cut it close, pulled away again, uh, made some big plays. Free throw shooting, I mean, I guess it kind of is what it is. I don't know. Do you have any thoughts on how poor you guys were, especially in the first half? Um, I don't take credit for house shooting 88% last year, and I don't take blame for him missing four free throws, honestly. Um, I, you know, he, I, I said to him, what the hell's wrong with your free throw shooting? And he said, my finger hurts. And I'm like, well, you, you scored 23 points. It seemed like you were fine. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, I mean, we, we made a lot of them last year. So we, we, we made them when it counted. Now Josiah's got to be a little bit better. Morris has got to obviously be better. And I don't know if Donovan right away in that environment is going to be knocking down big, shot, big free throws just yet. So I know they made a bunch of big shots and 55 just couldn't miss. But how do you feel about your team just defensively? I, it was like Papa shot. It was like banking him in. He had like three banks. I've never seen that before. I was like, my goodness. Um, I thought we were really good in the first half. Terrific. Foul trouble hurt us a little bit. They started taking some crazy threes, and we didn't get long rebounds. Uh, but I thought the beginning was a really good look at it. We just need to sustain that defensive intensity and that physicality for 40 minutes. Going off the defense coach, it looks like they outscored you guys in the paint 36 to 30. Would you attribute that to foul trouble, or what did you say happened? Um, probably rebounding a little bit. And, you know, I think we weren't getting the ball into the paint enough in the first half. I thought the second half we did a much better job. Offensively, shooting 48%, 53% in the second half was, was really good. Um, we lost our poise a little bit at the end. KJ should have pulled the ball out. Morris. Didn't guard a kid, you know, he shot a crazy shot, but we got to press up and do that. But offensively, scoring 89 is pretty good. We just, uh, we, we, we didn't guard some of those long shots uh, the whole game. Just what's your key takeaway from tonight going into South Alabama? What do you want your team to improve on before you face them on Friday? Just, just ex you don't know what to expect early. Scouting isn't really in play. You don't have a lot of film. Teams are going to throw a lot at you. You've got to be able to adjust. 
to playing us in a system different than what you've been going against with us for the last couple months. Um, so then it just comes down to a lob and transition for Jay Allen Tobar or a steal, you know, j just like little things. That's what's going to win you games uh, because we just don't know right now what's coming. Um, but it was a great win. Um, awesome playing in the pit with no mask mandates, vaccine mandates. <laughs> it's fun to have everybody back, see everybody's smiling faces. Um, so, you know, it's we'll take tomorrow off and, and learn from it. I mean, I, I don't get too high and I don't get too low after all these games. It's just a, another opportunity to grow and get better. And then you talked about Morris's, you know, physicality. Um, but, I mean, early in the second half, it looked really good. Did we see a glimpse of what he can do? I mean, did you – I mean, in spurts, he definitely looked really good. Yeah, second half, we put an emphasis on throwing the ball down in there, and we didn't do that much last year, um, hardly ever. And so – I think if the fives and the fours can embrace that and play off each other. Morris one time had a high low. We hit him, threw over the top to Jay. That's what we've been working on a bunch and drilling it a bunch. It's hard to guard. It's hard to guard. So um, that's the highest percentage shot. Right around the rim is the highest percentage shot. So keep chipping away at it. And like I said earlier, now you got to be a passer. If they trap you and they slap down, now you get guys open shots. Time for one more with Coach. I Two quick ones. No, I don't have time for that. Sebastian, <laughs> is he going to play Friday? They got a big center. <laughs> Where he scouted South Alabama. Um, I don't know. We thought he was going to play today, and then he uh, rolled his ankle um, yesterday in practice. So I'd say day to day. I don't know. What and then Jay Allen told Ari, he gets technical really early, but did he seem to handle it maybe a little better than sometimes last year after that? Baby steps. Baby <laughs> steps to Jay. Great, great improvement, though. Um, I thought he rebounded better. He, that moment got him a little bit. I don't know if it was a huge deal, but we've talked a lot about it, especially him and House are the two that last year let the emotions get the best of them a little bit. But I told them we have a plus-minus system, and if you get a technical, you get a minus five, uh, and you got to run it off. So Jay will be running it off on Wednesday. Um, but I, I thought he rebounded very, very well, and, and I was really proud of his efforts. Coach. Yes, quick. sir. Go ahead. Defensive intensity. Would you think it seems there's more energy than last year? Well, the personnel has changed, um, which helps. You know, we, we've brought in defensive-minded guys. Uh, we were a very, very incomplete team last year. A lot of those guys were playing major minutes. You know, I, I took Jalen House out for a long time in the second half, and I thought because he was fresh at the end, I thought it really helped. I wasn't able to do that last year. So, um the bench is a great teacher. It's a great motivator. Um, but our guys know offensively we can score. I think we've shown that. But if we don't guard and rebound, we're not going to get to where we want to get to. So it was better. It just wasn't better for 40 minutes. Thank All you, right. Coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks, coach. See ya.